Well, howdy there, friends. Today we're embarking on a remarkable journey to catch a glimpse of how the cast members from New Jack City have changed over the years. We'll be revealing their true identities and ages, and you're in for a real treat as we compare their youthful days on the show to the present year of 2024. So, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Y'all ready for this ride? Let's get this journey rolling. 1. Ice T as Scotty Appleton Scotty Appleton's character is instrumental in the film's narrative, as he works to bring down the drug Lord Nino Brown and dismantle his criminal empire. The movie received attention for its gritty portrayal of the drug trade and urban crime. The iconic gangsta rap artist Ice-T, born Tracy Marrow on February 16, 1958, in Newark, New Jersey, made a move to Los Angeles, California to reside with his paternal grandfather's aunt following his father's damage during sixth grade. His mother had passed away earlier when he was in the third grade, residing in the South Los Angeles district of Crenshaw, commonly known as South Central. He became deeply involved in inner city street life and eventually joined the West Side Roland 30s original Harlem Crips. As a musical artist, Ice-T played a pivotal role in shaping the gangsta style of hip-hop music, emerging as a prominent figure in the West Coast hip-hop scene despite his East Coast origins in greater New York. While his music reflects political awareness, addressing issues like racism reminiscent of the groundbreaking hip-hop group Public Enemy, it also carries a nihilistic tone befitting a chronicler of street existence. Ice-T tied the knot with swimsuit model Nicole Coco Austin in January 2002. Celebrating their approaching ninth wedding anniversary, the couple renewed their vows on June 4, 2011. By 2006, they possessed a penthouse apartment in North Bergen, New Jersey. In 2012, they commenced the construction of a five-bedroom house in Edgewater, New Jersey, anticipated to be finished by year-end welcoming their first child together, a daughter, in 2015. Ice-T has emphasized his teetotaler lifestyle on multiple occasions, maintaining a straight-edge way of living. A dedicated practitioner of Brazilian jiu-jitsu and boxing, he is also an avid fan of the UFC. 2. Chris Rock as Pookie Pookie is a small-time drug addict who becomes an informant for the police, against the drug lord Nino Brown, portrayed by Wesley Snipes. The character Pookie is notable for his tragic descent into drug addiction, which serves as a focal point in the movie's exploration of the impact of the crack epidemic on individuals and communities. Rock was raised in the economically challenged Bedford-Stuyvesant neighborhood of Brooklyn, New York. After leaving high school at 17, Rock performed in intimate clubs in the New York vicinity, where comedian actor Eddie Murphy discovered him. Following roles in Murphy's film Beverly Hills Cop 2, 1987, and director Keenan Ivory Wayans's I'm Gonna Get You Sucker, 1988, Rock achieved a breakthrough by securing a position in 1990 as a member of the cast of Saturday Night Live. In 2016, Rock returned as the host of the Oscars ceremony, which faced criticism for its lack of nominations for black actors in the acting categories. Rock received widespread acclaim for his handling of the controversy, addressing it throughout the show, including dedicating his opening monologue to the issue of racism. He served as a presenter at the 2022 ceremony, and his appearance made headlines after a comment about actress Jada Pinkett Smith's hair offended her husband, actor Will Smith. Smith walked onto the stage and slapped Rock, then verbally confronted the comedian as he returned to his seat. Shortly afterward, Smith won the Oscar for Best Actor and later issued an apology to Rock. 3. Michael Michelle as Selena Selena is the romantic interest of the film's protagonist, Nino Brown, played by Wesley Snipes. The movie is a crime thriller that explores the drug trade and its impact on the community, with Selena's character becoming entangled in the dangerous world of Nino Brown's criminal empire. Mikhail is the elder of two daughters. Her Caucasian father, Jerry, 
is an entrepreneur, while her African-American mother, Thursa, holds a corporate management position. During her high school years, she actively participated in volleyball, basketball, and track. Following high school, she relocated to New York and swiftly secured opportunities in commercial work. This paved the way for a role in Eddie Murphy's 1989 film Harlem Nights. However, this role dissipated after she rejected his advances, leading her to file a sexual harassment lawsuit against him. Eventually, the lawsuit was resolved out of court, and she found employment at The Gap to make ends meet. Her standout performance in the miniseries Trade Wines, 1993, left a lasting impression and opened doors to recurring roles on New York Undercover, 1994, and Central Park West, 1995. After making appearances in several feature films, Michelle achieved another significant TV role in the series Homicide, Life on the Street, 1993, in 1998. She relinquished her badge a year later to transition to the top-rated medical drama ER, 1994, where between 1999 and 2001, she portrayed the character of Dr. Cleo Finch. 4. Russell Wong as Park Russell Wong portrayed Park, a police officer with advanced technological skills, directing Pookie to leverage high-tech methods for his undercover mission. Russell Wong has gained a reputation as a captivating, charismatic leading man, with his handsome appearance complemented by his acting prowess. Born as the sixth of seven children in Troy, New York, he is the son of restaurateur William Wong and Dutch-American artist Connie Van Iserloo. At the age of seven, Russell's parents went through a divorce, leading him to move with his mother to California, where they settled near Yosemite. Russell attended Santa Monica College. With a background in dance and martial arts, Russell is proficient in executing many of his own stunts. In 1994, Russell achieved a significant role when he was cast as the lead in the made-for-TV movie Vanishing Sun, produced by Rob Cohen. The film depicted his character as a Chinese political activist exiled in America. The show's popularity led to three sequels and a syndicated TV series spin-off. People magazine recognized him as one of the 50 most beautiful people in 1995. Following the conclusion of Vanishing Sun, Russell transitioned to more prominent roles in cinema, including starring in Takedown, alongside Skeet Ulrich and Twisted, with Sam Jackson and Ashley Judd. His breakthrough came in the form of a performance opposite Jet Li in Romeo Must Die, solidifying Russell's status as a star. In 2003, Wong married Hong Kong fashion designer Flora Cheong Lane, and the couple divorced in 2012. Russell is well-versed in martial arts, particularly in disciplines like Taekwondo, Shoji Ryu Karate, and Fujopai Kung Fu. 5. Wesley Snipes as Nino Brown. Nino Brown is a fictional character in the 1991 film New Jack City. The character is portrayed by actor Wesley Snipes. In the film, Nino Brown is a drug lord and the main antagonist. As the leader of a powerful drug cartel operating in New York City, Nino is ruthless and ambitious, seeking to expand his criminal empire. Wesley Trent Snipes entered the world in Orlando, Florida, born to Marianne Long, who worked as a teacher's assistant, and SMSGT Wesley Rudolph Snipes, an aircraft engineer. His early years unfolded on the streets of the South Bronx in New York City, and during this time, he firmly set his sights on a career in dance and theater. Wesley believes that earning the approval of Hollywood heavyweights is a testament to his success. Sylvester Stallone, Robert De Niro, Dennis Hopper, and Sean Connery all possessed veto power over casting and endorsed his role. Additionally, Wesley took the initiative to establish Amen Ra Films Production Company. He holds a multi-system combat arts black belt and is an IT technologist and VC. 6. Alan Payne as G Money Alan Payne takes on the role of Gerald G. Money, Wells, Nino's lifelong companion, 
and the second in command of the Cash Money Brothers, CMB. Payne was born Alan Roberts in the Harlem neighborhood of New York City, the firstborn son of Alan Roberts and Barbara Reeves. He attended Pensacon High School in Pensacon Township, New Jersey. Payne's initial appearance on television was in a 1990 episode of The Cosby Show. Across two seasons, he portrayed the character Lance Rodman, the boyfriend of Charmaine. Payne later featured in episodes of The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air and Malcolm and Eddie. From 2006, he took on the role of C.J. Payne in Tyler Perry's House of Payne. Additionally, he made an appearance in the Stacey Lattisaw video for I'm Not the Same Girl. In 2018, he revisited his role from House of Pain on the Pains. In 2022, he is also the lead and revisits his character as G-Money in the theatrical adaptation of New Jack City, live on stage, produced by playwright J. Carius Johnson. 7. Mario Van Peebles as Stone Mario Van Peebles assumes the role of Stone, leading the police operation against the CMB. Van Peebles' initial appearance on screen dates back to 1968 in the soap opera One Life to Live. In 1971, he featured in the film Sweet Sweetback's Badass Song, where Melvin Van Peebles directed and played the lead role, while Mario portrayed his father's character during childhood. In 2017, he directed two additional episodes of Being Mary Jane and one episode of Hand of God. He also starred in the feature For Justice and in four episodes of Bloodline, directing one of them and an extra episode where his character didn't appear. During that period, he conceived and produced the TV series Superstition, directing eight episodes, acting in ten, and playing dual roles in some. In 2014, Van Peebles created a public service video to support the District of Columbia statehood movement. His advocacy aligns with D.C. Shadow Senator Paul Strauss's 51 Stars campaign, aiming to enlist 51 celebrities endorsing Washington, D.C. as the 51st state. 8. Bill Nunn as Da Do Do Man Bill Nunn portrayed the Do 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 Man, serving as the CMB enforcer and Nino's personal bodyguard. Bill Nunn III was born in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, the son of Francis Nunn, and William G. Nunn Jr., a journalist and editor at the Pittsburgh Courier and a National Football League scout. Nunn was a 1970 graduate of Shenley High School and a 1976 graduate of Morehouse College. He attended college alongside Spike Lee and appeared in several of Lee's early feature films. Nunn also graced the stage, including a performance in August Wilson's Fences, a Pittsburgh-based play where Nunn shared the stage with Anthony Mackey, portraying Nunn's character's son. Additionally, he actively engaged in community outreach and established his own outreach project in the Pittsburgh area in 2008. Nunn passed away on September 24, 2016, at his residence in Pittsburgh's Hill District at the age of 62. His widow, Donna, confirmed that he battled leukemia. 9. Bill Cobbs as Old Man Bill Cobbs takes on the role of Old Man, an elderly figure who opposes Nino's criminal activities in the city. He intervenes by shooting and killing Nino as he exits the courtroom. Born and raised in Cleveland, Ohio, Bill Cobbs hails from hard-working parents who instilled in him a sense of self-reliance and humility. As an aspiring actor at the city's Karamu House Theater, he starred in the O.C. Davis play, Pearly Victorious. Cobbs served as an Air Force radar technician for eight years and later worked in office products at IBM. In Cleveland, he also sold cars. In 1970, at the age of 36, he ventured to New York to pursue an acting career, turning down a job in the NBC sales department to make time for auditions. To support himself, he took on various jobs, including driving a cab, repairing office equipment, selling toys, and performing odd jobs. His initial professional acting role was in Ride a Black Horse at the Negro Ensemble Company. Subsequently, Cobbs appeared in small theater productions, street theaters, regional theaters, and at the Eugene O'Neill Theater. His television debut occurred in Vegetable Soup, 
1975, a New York public television educational series, and he made his feature film debut in The Taking of Pelham 123, 1974. In his leisure time, Cobbs indulges in music, reading, and playing the drums. He resides in both New York City and Los Angeles, California, continuing to pursue his passion for acting. 10. Judd Nelson as Nick Peretti In the movie, Nick Peretti is a detective assigned to bring down the drug lord Nino Brown, portrayed by Wesley Snipes. As a dedicated and determined officer, Peretti works to dismantle Nino Brown's drug empire and bring him to justice. Judd Asher Nelson came into the world on November 28, 1959, in Portland, Maine. Born to attorney Leonard Nelson and his spouse, Merle Nelson. Judd enrolled at St. Paul's Preparatory School in Concord, New Hampshire, before delving into philosophy at the esteemed Haverford College in Haverford, Pennsylvania. The acting interest took hold when he observed a friend's audition and, to stay, found himself compelled to audition as well. To his surprise, he clinched the role. Post-graduation, Judd set his sights on New York City and the Stella Adler Conservatory, where he convincingly portrayed the street-smart Eddie Keaton in the comedy Making the Grade, 1984. Following that, Judd assumed the role of the conservative ROTC cadet, Phil Hicks, in the ensemble comedy Fandango 1985. Subsequently, he embraced significant and varied roles in the Brat Pack films Breakfast Association 1985 and St. Elmo's Fire 1985. 11. Christopher Williams as Kareem Akbar Christopher Williams steps into the character of Kareem Akbar, a former bank teller turned member of the CMB gang. Born on August 22, 1967, in Bronx, New York, Williams boasts a lineage connected to jazz singer Ella Fitzgerald as her nephew. Recognized for his fervent baritone voice, Williams has earned the moniker of the contemporary Teddy Pendergrass. He pursued his education at Purchase College, now part of the State University of New York in Harrison, New York. In October 2022, Williams disclosed that he had been contending with health challenges linked to kidney failure and had slipped into a coma on November 5, 2021. Candidly addressing his illness, he revealed the drastic weight loss down to 129 pounds and acknowledged the difficulty of lifting a fork to nourish himself. Making a special cameo appearance in Washington, D.C. on November 12, 2022, during the curtain call of the adapted stage play of New Jack City, live on stage, Williams revisited his health update from when he was hospitalized, weighing 137 pounds, with doctors expressing uncertainty about his ability to walk again. Concluding his brief remarks, he treated the audience to an impromptu rendition of his hit song, I'm Dreaming. Although the video of his discussion circulated on producer G. Karius Johnson's Facebook post, mainstream news outlets were yet to cover this development. 12. Vanessa Estelle Williams as Keisha Vanessa Estelle Williams took on the role of Keisha, a female member of the CMB gang. Hailing from Brooklyn, NY, Vanessa Estelle Williams emerged as a dynamic presence in Hollywood during the 90s, fueled by passion, purpose, and enduring resilience. This in-demand creative luminary recently wrapped up filming A Rich Christmas, a BET feature film, in December 2020. She also concluded work on the film Christmas Family Reunion with the Ninth House Production Company. Williams garnered an Emmy nomination for her performance in the Showtime original film, Our America. Following six consecutive nominations in the same category, she clinched the 2003 NAACP Image Award for Outstanding Actress in a Drama Series, showcasing her exceptional portrayal of Maxine Chadway in the acclaimed Showtime series, Soul Food. In addition to her acting prowess, Williams serves as the vice chair on the executive board of directors of the Black AIDS Institute. She also holds the position of chair for BAI's Hollywood Task Force on AIDS, where she actively recruits and guides her peers in creating celebrity PSAs on HIV awareness, 
and AIDS prevention. As an internationally recognized star, Williams's global brand appeal is genuine, impactful, and profoundly relatable. As both an artist and a mother to two creatively gifted boys, Omar and Haile Wiseman, Vanessa seamlessly blends passion and youthful exuberance with timeless charm and soulfulness, forging deep connections with audiences. Her talent is one that audiences not only love but also trust and admire. While we conclude this retrospective, it's evident that New Jack City not only defined an era in cinema, but also launched the careers of many talented individuals. Whether it's the commanding presence of Judd Nelson, the soulful voice of Christopher Williams, or the dynamic energy of Alan Payne, each actor has left an indomitable imprint on the hearts of fans. We hope you've enjoyed this walk down memory lane and rediscovered the brilliance of the New Jack City cast. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to stay connected with more updates on your favorite actors and films. Thank you for being a part of this incredible journey.